So many Democrat governors, so many Democrat mayors have now said, don't do your job, stand down. Let these riots, let these looters continue to criminalize our communities. And the president doesn't want that. He wants them to be able to stand up. But it does make sense, just logically. If you don't allow police to do their job, then the American people have to defend themselves some way. And so they have to be um, cognizant of the fact that so oftentimes so uh, in these Democrat control cities, that the cops can't do their jobs. You just justified, you said that not, if the police don't no, say. Well, no, well, why, well, I didn't well, know you such or the thing. president say we definitively, a, Jim, we oppose Jim, we have a, vigilantism. We have a Second well, Amendment in this can country. Can you say those we, words? We have, a, we have a Second Amendment in this country, and when the Democrats are doing something quite dangerous, they're saying, first of all, the cops can't defend you. Oh, and by the way, we also want to strip away your Second Amendment rights. It'd be one thing if they said, we don't want the cops to do their jobs, but here are a lot of guns to protect yourselves. They're not doing that in so, these so you communities won't, you and won't, for our you families. You won't condemn vigilantism. Just, I'll give you an opportunity to say... Let the cops do their job. No. We don't want people from out of state coming in uh, and taking on a law enforcement role untrained. Can, can you say just definitively that's a bad idea? I, I had the, the commissioner of New York Police it, it, Department no, it yesterday said it, it's a bad idea. That's a bad idea? It, 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 it is a bad idea, yes. Okay. And, and we've said many times fair we enough. want to admit. No, 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 no. Not fair enough. Not fair enough. That was atrocious. And he said it and he meant it. Uh, Hogan Gidley, the Trump spokesperson there. We can't let him get away with that. That's exactly what he meant. He advocated in favor of vigilante killings and their disgusting notion of justice, which is actually injustice. So I guess defending oneself now counts as driving to another state with an assault rifle and then murdering two protesters who were unarmed. Well, one of them had a skateboard. I guess the beta conservatives count that as being armed nowadays. Remember when they tried to say that Obama was the one who was inciting terrorism and a terrorist sympathizer back in the Obama days? That's what Fox News would talk about. The terrorist fist jab, these clowns. And then they literally now have a president who's blatantly siding with a right-wing terrorist, a minimum terrorist sympathizer, and his spokesperson is going out there and trying to basically dog whistle and encourage it. But he basically just said it right there. He just said it right there. Terrorist sympathizers. I can't say it enough. That's what you guys are. But because they're white, you don't count it, right? You don't count it. And they're kind of on your side. And he went to a Trump rally, Rittenhouse, and really loved all of you guys and your authoritarian bootlicking. By the way, not enough is being said about the two victims who were killed here, the third shooting victim is surviving, but the two people that died uh, at the hands of Rittenhouse, Anthony Huber, uh, 26 years old, and Jojo Rosenbaum, 36, Jojo had a daughter, and Huber had a stepdaughter. So they leave behind people, and the President of the United States, as they were victims of violence, and his spokespeople are coming out and defending their murder, the fact that they were murdered. It's really just gross. And this is a part of a larger issue of Trump's continuous eroding of the belief in core tenets of our political system that corruption and campaign finance reform already has. No one feels their representatives represent them. No one feels their senators represent them. I get that. But Trump's going even further and just demolishing it, breaking things down. And this is part of it, this encouraging of terrorism, and also, of course, what he's doing with mail-in voting. And so this article I read connects the two. Trump has now spoken out in defense of a supporter who killed protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The president has claimed that the 17-year-old shooter who crossed state lines with a weapon that was not his own found himself in a very interesting situation. As Aaron Blake noted in the Washington Post, the president did not condemn the violence and instead echoed Rittenhouse's lawyers, who said the 17-year-old did nothing wrong and exercised his God-given constitutional common law and statutory law right to self-defense. Trump has also defended crowds of his supporters who took it upon themselves to shoot paintballs and pepper spray on protesters in Portland, Oregon, because, as he tweeted, the big backlash going on in Portland cannot be unexpected after 95 days of watching an incompetent mayor admit he has no idea what he is doing. The people of Portland won't put up with no safety any longer. The mayor is a fool. Bring in the National Guard. The president, who defended the attack by federal officials on lawful protesters at Lafayette Square only a few months ago, is now defending armed militiamen stepping in to quell racial justice protests around the country after he himself sees fit to describe them as rioting and looting. Trump is, in short, encouraging his supporters 
to do the work of local police, federal officials, and the National Guard if, in their frustration with those entities, they feel the work isn't being done. He is not just declaring war on government. He is declaring war on how government is chosen. And he is suggesting that his own followers' dedication might be the only remedy to broken trust in voting after spending four years breaking trust in voting. And this is how you develop a cult-like following. We are the only ones who get it, and we've got to take action. And that guy who murdered two people? He was on the right track. He might have done it the wrong way. But his ideas, his intent was correct. Imagine if Obama defended the intents of terrorists. What, what they wanted to do. The hypocrisy is insane.